the EU Emission Trading Scheme ETS rules will become effective on the shipping industry in January 2024. This will add significant costs to voyages which call at EU ports, and this video will set out the rules and procedures WorldScale has prepared in its new EU ETS guidance. The new preamble section published in the 2024 WorldScale edition will be effective on those contracts using WorldScale terms and conditions. WorldScale EUA information allows counterparties to understand their EUA responsibilities by providing the knowledge of how many are needed and when they should be exchanged. Let's look at the new preamble sections in detail. The first two items set out the counterparties' responsibilities. The charterers are expected to transfer EUAs for voyages performed in the same way that they are responsible for freight. Alternatively, counterparties can agree upon their own methods if they prefer. For clarity, the EUA numbers provided are not part of the world scale flat rate or world scale equivalent, they are treated separately. The numbers reflect a calculation of EUAs applicable to a vessel visiting EU ports, and by using a secondary table it can easily be applied to differing tanker types. We will later look at the application of the EUA number to different tanker groups. WorldScale has provided EUA numbers alongside voyage information to provide the industry with a consistent reference value. This has been done by using the WorldScale standard parameters in the same way as it does already with the WorldScale rates themselves. The definitions in the clause reiterate the WorldScale assumptions used. The tapering allowance of 40% in the first year has been applied in our calculations of the EUA numbers. This tapering allowance is expected to change in 2025 and again in 2026, which will mean our numbers will be recalculated in future years. It is important to understand that some world scale rates include several load and several discharge ports. It is necessary in these cases to identify individual voyage legs. These individual legs are measured in distance and then the consumption used on this leg will be calculated. The ports themselves will be determined as EU or non-EU. EU rules of 0% for non-EU to non-EU, 50% for EU to non-EU or 100% for EU to EU will then be applied. For all world scale rates, we have also included the ballast voyage, in world scale terms this is a direct return to the first load port, EUA calculations will be applicable to the ballast leg. The EUAs per voyage leg will count toward the total overall EUA number, together with the allowances for the import consumption and consumption for purposes other than steaming. Due to the way STS operations are being treated within the scope of the EU ETS, WorldScale will not be able to provide any EUA numbers for rates involving STS operations. Furthermore, due to a lack of clarity on port status from the EU, there will be certain tanker ports such as offshore terminals, FPSOs and North Sea installations that will also be quoted without an EUA allowance. As more information on these ports is gathered, EUA numbers will start to be provided. Where EUA information has not been provided with a world scale rate, the equations to allow charter parties to calculate and agree upon their own EUA number have been provided. It will be necessary for users to agree distances and EU port status. Then add values for EU in port and those for purposes other than steaming. Users must ensure the tapering allowance is applied to their calculations. The EUA number calculated using the world scale assumptions and calculations will then need to be varied according to the vessels performing the voyage. This table allows for differing consumptions for smaller and larger vessels. As an example, we will look at a world scale rate and information for a particular voyage. The EUA number for the voyage is 689 for the world scale standard vessel. If, for example, the vessel used for the fixture was a medium range tanker, then the EUA number 689 will be multiplied by 0 0.75, therefore it will be 517. As a standard, Contracting parties will assume transfer of EUAs or an agreed financial equivalent to be made with the payment of freight and other fees. WorldScale will review all the factors set out in the definitions annually to ensure that they meet with the EU regulations and its subscribers' requirements. The WorldScale EU ETS preamble and the EUA numbers 
together provide a robust and consistent basis for the agreement and settlement of EU ETS liabilities. The framework for the settlement through transfer of EUAs issued by the European Union, or their financial equivalent is a clear and defined standard. Our provisions have been prepared following industry consultation, and we believe will continue to be of increasing importance to the shipping and tanker industry. We have provided some example calculations and a few FAQs for further information.